everybody know now the orange truck is like the certified jump starter in the yard. Trying to get this old girl fired up, man. We need some new wheels, man. We need some new wheels. I don't have these long enough. That was the main reason I don't really drive it, man. I really don't like the way it looks, man. Crazy as that sound. Crazy as that sound. I don't like the way it looks. I've had these wheels for seven, eight years now. So, look at them seats, though. Ooh, ooh, look at that right now. Ooh, yes, sir. Let's see if we can get this thing to start. Let's get us some wheels and get this thing back on the road properly. Dead as hell. Truck been attached to it for five minutes now. So I lost all my keys about a month or two back. I think I lost them at work somewhere. And uh, I had an extra set in the house. It had like every key to all my trailers and all the trailer locks and all that, right? It had a, a spare for every one, except this one. It does not have an extra key on it for this lock. I'm, I'm not sure what the hell happened, but I need to get this off of here. So I can use this trailer. I have an extra lock that I had for that big trailer that I had bought that I sold in Connecticut. So I'm just gonna cut this off. It's gonna be the first time I use this Milwaukee Sawzall. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'm just gonna cut it right here. I figure if I cut the little top piece off, the rest of it should fall on out. So stand by as we do that. Loud truck driving by. Stand by as we do that and give this a shot. And uh I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this trailer. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. That thing does not play no games. Holy cow. Made quick work of it. Don't touch it, KJ. Don't touch it. Made quick work of it. All right, what I gotta do now is uh I gotta get some new tires for this thing, man. Um, I really need all four around, but I ain't got. 300 something dollars to be spending on tires. I'm gonna put the, um, I'm gonna replace the back two because they are by far the worst. The front two got some tread left. They're a little dry rotted, but the back two are awful. So we're gonna put some tires on there and then we're gonna run up to Cannon, Georgia, Georgia Automotive Performance and drop the 5.3 off with all the goodies that we got. Get them things put together and then it's gonna be ready to go in 700 on the white 91. So stand by, let me get these tires off. All right, got it off. We're gonna take the tire. They like to just verify it's the same bolt pattern. So we're gonna take it and we'll uh, get two new ones. And then uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll, man. So I don't know if I can get any footage over there. It's pretty boring at the trailer tire place, but uh, if I can get some footage, I will. And if not, um, we'll just catch y'all when we get back and put it on. All right, we got them, man. A hell of a difference. Hell of a difference. It looks amazing. Uh, we got a 205, 75, 15. The damn price did go up, man. Hell, I couldn't afford it all for when it was $80 a piece. I called like a week ago. It's $80 a piece. I get here, they charge me $100 a piece. I'm like, damn. Y'all just told me $80 a week ago. I said the price went up. I can't fault them for that, man. That's how it goes sometimes. Hey, when y'all get a price on these products y'all trying to buy, you gotta jump on it, man. Matter of fact, Steve Chevy Shop just made a post about this the other day, man. People asking them for, you know, prices and then they hit them two, three months down the road and his prices done went up, you know? That's that's how it goes, man. So it wasn't it wasn't their fault, it was my fault. I wouldn't have thought it would have went up in no damn week, but it is what it is, man. So we got two tires for 200 gonna take these back get them put on the trailer and then um we should be able to make it to our destination scratch it up should be able to make them to our destination man we'll catch up with y'all in a minute man, they got over on me good 20 more dollars huh 
I know. It's Ford motor off. And the only reason I don't really use this trailer is it has crappy tires on it. Tell the other two straight. Uh, I ain't gonna say straight. It's decent. Ready for some action now. Whew. Wish I could have got all four, man, but I just ain't got no damn $400 to be spending on trailer tire for a trailer I don't use all that often. I gotta call my guy over at the performance shop, see if we can uh, meet up with him and uh, get the package dropped off, man. Show y'all the package once again. There you go. So, we're gonna see. Man, damn. It was a little too spirited. I went around, brought the truck around, came up the uh, came up the little bank as I always do. Came up and then backed it right here so I can vacuum out the inside. Tip the whole damn thing over. Damn. So I gotta, I tried to pick it back up by hand, but that bad boy heavy. So I got, uh, I'll probably move it back around and hook the damn engine hoist to it and pick it back up. Take the vacuum and clean all that off. Gonna clean some of that off before we take it down there. So that's next. Clean it off, then strap it down, and we'll be ready to roll. All right. Looks a little bit better. Got all the uh, loose debris off. So we about ready to rock and roll. All right. We load it up. I did end up getting the, uh, the engine hoist and the uh, engine stand in there. Got everything strapped down pretty good. Just loading up all the parts right now. Give y'all a little glimpse of that. Uh, it's about, I can't remember what all this cost me. It's probably about $1,500 worth of parts. Uh, Texas Speed Cam, lifters, guide seals, uh, bolts, all kind of stuff, man. All kind of parts, head gasket stuff. So. Uh, got that loaded up. Got the torque converter loaded up. Circle D. I'm gonna open this when I get there. I'm supposed to have like maybe some goodies in there, a shirt or something maybe. But uh, I'm gonna keep it close till we get there. But um, we're gonna load that up and then uh, we're gonna hit the road, man. And it'll be about 45 minutes or so we'll pull up. So stick around for that and we'll catch up with y'all when we get there. We here. We gotta move some stuff around. Gotta get some room for the sock. Look at that bad boy. Opening this up, circle D. Oh, you look like you drank beer. Here you go. That my gift to you. You drank beer, don't you? <laughs> man, they done robbed me. I ain't get no shirt, man. I thought it was going to be a shirt. shirt right there. Oh, nah. Nah. I <laughs> Why you crazy, make it, man? Make it your diaper. Yeah. You stick your legs through there. You crazy, them on man. Up. You crazy. We should have everything we need, man. Told you I don't play around. What is this? E-base breeze? Stop the cow. Hell this is Texas no. breeze. Nah, Texas breeze sent me them. I got them right from them. Came with these, uh, came with these. This, that, and the cam box came together. Some stickers. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of some of this Grand National stuff, man. He be he be stingy with the footage on the Grand National sometimes. It grudge, grudge cars, man. Y'all know how it go. We're gonna have a main paint job on this one, like last one. The last one, boy, you painted the hell out of that song, gun. Same, I do same color. Gray, the dark gray with the black. 
Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna let them tell me which ones we can film and then we'll we'll show y'all some footage, man. Too too nasty not to get some footage. It's, it's too nasty in here, period. <laughs> Where do you get parts for those grand nasty? Um, it just costs a bunch of money. Damn it, you got enough of them in here, don't you? Yeah. You know what, man? I, I can't get you a lot of parts on a Grand National. That's one thing I can't get. Oh, super clean. Man. Let me get some footage of that. Oh, my God. Sweet. If y'all need any of the stuff, they still make it. Man, we got tons of them. That's what, you know what everybody deals with now? Yep. Isn't that the three big Super clean. Well, yeah. So that's that's the best one you brought here. Yeah. Look how clean that is. All right, you know what? As long as Holy cow. That ain't nothing. Yeah. Damn. As long as they use one of the... Give me the phone on that side. Mother's ain't in too bad a shape, is it? Yeah. Say people be calling. They be calling from the video asking asking about your service. Oh yeah, man. Ain't nobody come through. Hey man, don't y'all be capping, man. They call that capping. Yeah. Quit capping now. If you call the man, bring him some work. Bring him some work, man. I got one guy uh, coming in three weeks. Yeah. What a sweet little ride. I ain't gonna talk about it. This is gonna be nice. I feel that. I told y'all I bought a turbo, man. Huh? You don't talk about that turbo. I ain't say a whole lot about it, though. Look at yeah, that, Boyd Warner. That's good. That's good. It's just a little old beauty turbo. A good quality, though, ain't it? Yeah. Yes, you, sir. You burn a tire? Yes, sir. Two tires, hopefully. You better not be peg leg. <laughs> what you wild, <buy>, man? <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. Hey, turbo, baby. Told y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're trying to go all out, man. We're trying to do, trying to do new things, man. All right, I'm finna go to the junkyard, I believe, man. We dropped the engine off. We chatted for a little bit. We showed y'all some stuff. But whoo, when we took them valve covers off, boy, that was amazing. Hope y'all can see me, man. Oh my y'all can see me. But yeah, here we go, man. When we took them valve covers off, that thing was clean, boy, super clean. Comment, drop a comment, man. You ever seen a donor engine, man, that clean, man? That was a hell of a buy. That was a hell of a buy right there. I told y'all when I got it, man. That was a hell of a buy for a donor vehicle. But uh, yeah, we finna go to the junkyard. I think I'm finna go to the junkyard. See if I can find that wiper cow. And uh, after that, then I'm gonna be headed back to the house. So we'll check in with y'all later on. Peace. One hour later. So we at the junkyard. And uh, I checked two or three windshield cows and they was busted. So um, there's uh, another truck over there that's got one, but it's dirty as hell, got leaves and stuff all over it. So I might just get a new from LMC. But we got a Suburban over here with some rear doors that one of our subscribers need. JB out of Nashville told me if I found a nice Suburban with some doors. If I could grab him from him. So, and I'm supposed to be meeting up with him this weekend. Y'all will see that coming soon. We got a trip planned up to North Georgia. So, we're going to get these doors off for him. He liked them. I sent him some pictures. And he liked them. And uh, they're taking them off for him now. So, they're going to remove it. So, I ain't got to fool with it. And then, uh, it's the same one. Me and Mike and Bray got the uh, nice rear bumper off of. So, they're taking the doors off for old JB. And uh, when I see him this weekend... He'll uh he'll get him. So they're in good shape too. I'm actually thinking about grabbing this driver seat for the uh for the dually. It's tan and I need gray, but they're so close together. They look so much alike. And I need one, so I'm thinking about grabbing a damn seat out of it. But um uh, let me hit y'all back when we get these parts off and uh, we'll see what we end up with. Man, thought I had me one right here. Took the hood off, started getting it out and this bolt right here, screw, I think it's stripped. 
And this one is stripped. I can't, it's just spinning and spinning. I saw the flash like that in there. I can't even see nothing down in there, but it's tight. I got everything off and it's not moving out of that hole in that hole. So I think it's still something in there. It's just stripped out. So, might not be able to get one today, man. All that little bit of work for nothing. So, might get one from LMC. I think it was like 80 bucks or something like that, but he wasn't gonna charge me number 20 for this. So, that's the life of going in the junkyard, man. Door panel nice too, but damn, heavy ass hitch was sitting on top of it. And then they put a little indention in it. I don't know if that'll come out. And then this right here, got a little cigarette burn or something, but other than that, it's pretty nice. But when you pay your money, boy, you want it to be you want it to be right, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna drop no ducats on that. I ain't gonna drop no ducats on that. Them ducats too hard to come by. So I was unsuccessful, unsuccessful getting that windshield cowl off. But we got the doze. JB from IG, Nashville, Tennessee. I got you, baby. I told you I'd keep an eye out for you, man. So we got you them doors, man. So we'll meet up soon. And yo, your crew cab, Dooley boy, take a step in the right direction, man. But that's it, man. Um, ain't no more windshield cows out here. I'm gonna load up and, and get gone. So until next time, man, we're gonna holler at y'all. Peace. Gotta let these, gotta let these people see the junkyard farm. Y'all see this? Watch, watch you. Come on! Come on! Just wait. Come on! Good lord. There's gonna be all kinds of critters coming down here now. That's the call, ain't right? That's it. Look at them coming. Uh, 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 turkeys and everything. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that chicken run. Just wait, he'll come around that tree and get him on camera. Come on. Come on. Oh, Thomas and Darlene, the turkeys. Thomas and Darlene, look at him running. That's the biggest tom turkey you'll ever see. Comes old Dolly Moo Cow. She thinks she's a dog. Hey, there. You looking for the snacks at? You looking for some vittles? <laughs> huh? Let me pitch you. Well, you, you mighty large. You let her out, she'll follow you around like a dog. Come here. Hey, there. This the ring keeper. That's it. She rules the roost in there. Hey, there. She was a bottle baby. So yeah. That's why she's so proud of her. Why be down? Look at you. You're pretty large. She's probably about 650 pounds right now. <laughs> She'll stack on probably another three or four hundred pounds. Maybe more. You're looking at the camera. You're looking at the camera. <laughs> Boy, they come and get them vittles, ain't they? They do. Several nannies, they just have some babies any day. You can see them little black ones about to pop. Yeah. <laughs> These old hogs pretty large. Yeah, that's old Barnaby. Barnaby! <laughs> they eat the damn seed and the mud. <laughs>